Listen up, this is gonna be a spicy one. Okay, this is gonna be a spicy one. His direct came out the gates, dude. Shinya was not playing games. He had a date later that night. He was blowing through these games. And we'll talk about all these games eventually, but listen, we came out the gates with Splatoon DLC, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, which I gotta admit, so disappointed in that. We got hit with Mario RPG, which obviously looks really good. It's just so cute, man. Like little Mario, I just wanna squeeze him and just put him in my pocket forever. And then we got Peach Showtime, which honestly looks better than Mario Wonder. But listen, I don't want y'all to hate me. I'm just spitting facts right now, okay? I mean, come on, we got Sword Peach, we got Detective Peach. The only thing missing was Baseball Peach, you know what I mean? Honestly though, this game looks freaking incredible and I am super, super excited for it. I'm sitting here thinking this directs a nine out of 10, right away. And then all of a sudden, the long hair and the swords came out, okay? And we started getting RPG after RPG and all these games like Tomb Raider, who like, no one even cares about anymore. We made it less Polygon and now it looks better, right? This entire Direct didn't have a single new game. Not a single brand new game that we haven't heard about yet. We already heard about Peach. We heard about Mario RPG. This Mario and Donkey Kong game is a remake. Luigi's Mansion 2 is a remake. They don't even call it Dark Moon. They're calling it Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, is it not clear that Nintendo is just trying to like suck the juice? I, I don't know why I did that. Wow. They're trying to squeeze, not suck. They're trying to squeeze the juice out of what's left with the Switch. Now, if you don't know this, there's been leaks about the Switch 2 releasing next year. So you can see why Nintendo is trying to just squeeze all the juice out of it. But they make it super clear, which is the part that kind of angers me. Like Nintendo is no longer a gaming company. You understand that? Like they are just like, they're, they're trying to become something like so much bigger. You know, they got the parks, they got the movie, they got this museum now. What's gonna be in the museum? I don't know, but you're gonna pay for it if you're in Japan. I mean, I probably will. You know, they, they know, they know how to suck the juice out of us, man. Nintendo's like a roller coaster, right? And at some points you hate it, you feel sick, but other points you love it and your money is falling out of your pockets onto the ride. And when you get out of the ride and you try to grab your wallet, they hold your hand and they go, that's ours, buddy. That's ours. So you're gonna have to go now, okay? And you just have to leave and just accept what they give us. That's it. I mean, the addition of the Smash Amiibos with Sora, it's like, they're all here now. Don't you want them all, huh? Come on, get them all. And then they talked about F-099, which I'm also disappointed in because I was expecting an F-0 remake, which would have just gotten me so hyped. But it was F-099, which looks cool, right? Fortnite F-0, I'm cool with that. But it was afterwards when Shinya is just holding the SNES controller. It's not even on. They're just trying to sell it, bro. They're just trying to throw it down your throat. And I get it. It's a business, right? It's a business. The other thing I wanted to touch on in regards to F-0 was that Nintendo was talking about being a Switch Online exclusive, which... It's probably gonna shut down in the year, right? Especially if there's a new console coming out. So I don't know if that makes much sense to me either. And look, I'm not saying this Direct was bad. I, th I would give it a C plus, right? Me personally, me personally. I just feel like the care for games is just kind of gone right now. Maybe because the Switch 2 is coming. Maybe that's why we're feeling this. But I feel like it's been the past like two years I've been getting these vibes. Again, there was not a single new game. Not a single new game that we didn't know about or that wasn't already a remake in this Direct. Not one. Now look, there were positives, right? The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 6 actually looks amazing. I did not expect to see Diddy. And then Funky comes around that corner like, what's up? Did not expect that. I actually said like, man, Pauline in there. Pauline was. And then uh, Peachette was in it as well. Like it didn't end. It didn't end. Daisy Circuit, that's cool. I'm expecting Rainbow Road Wii for sure as well. I'm definitely expecting Bowser's Castle um, 3. I'm expecting some tour tracks. Tour is over, right? Tour is over after the next two. Um, so now, I mean, that leads us to like, what, a brand new Mario Kart? Is it Mario Kart 9? Is Tour Mario Kart 9? A lot of questions there. Don't even want to talk about that right now, but it looks good. Excited for that. I got to talk about why I'm so disappointed. I did so much research, so much research about the end of consoles life cycles and what games drop when the consoles are done. And there was a massive similarity between like every single console, okay? These are the three Nintendo titles that ended the N64. Mario Tennis, 
Paper Mario and Mario Party 3. Now, these are the three Nintendo games that ended the GameCube. Mario Superstar Baseball, Mario Party 7, Mario Strikers Charged. Now the Wii. Mario Sports Mix, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Mario Party 9. And now the Wii U. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, and Paper Mario. If you didn't know how this Direct ended, it ended with a 1,000 year door remake, which is Paper Mario, which makes me think next year in February, which they always do a Direct in February, that could be and should be the final Nintendo Switch Direct. Because after that, the fiscal year ends in March for Nintendo. So I'm expecting April, June for the announcement of the new console, the new hardware. June, there's a Direct, maybe talk about the games and just launch, full launch holiday season full launch so in the next direct what could we expect well based off of this we got the paper mario right it's done next year is the 2024 olympic games in paris maybe would they launch a game that late maybe not mario baseball you know you know how i am you know how we is been waiting on that a new mario party i mean mario party superstars just got abandoned uh which is the saddest thing on the planet let me know what you think in the comments though what do you think it's coming. I think there's a lot to look forward to with Nintendo, right? I think there's a lot. We got Wonder RPG, the Peach game, um, F-Zero, hopefully Prime 4. There's so many things that are coming, right? So we can't be upset about that, but I can't help but be disappointed. It's been how many years since a Donkey Kong game and we get a remake of a Game Boy Advance game. That's what you give us with Donkey Kong? Dude was the star of Super Mario movie. He was the star. Actually, my least favorite character, if I'm being 1,000% honest. But still, people were expecting Donkey Kong 64. People were expecting a side scroller. People were expecting a 3D game. I don't know. Every year, I get disappointed at September Directs. I, I get disappointed, and I'm used to it, right? They talked about these sword games and RPG games more than they talked about their big hitters. All in all, this Direct just felt like a recap, and they're just crossing their fingers that nostalgia sells, which it does, right? Now, those that are here that watch my channel consistently, let me just, let me just talk about a couple things so you don't freak out. My channel's not going anywhere. I'm still going to be doing the same things I do. I'm still going to be uploading Sluggers. I'm still going to be uploading Wii Sports. You know, we do have Wonder coming out. I might dabble a little bit in that. I might dabble a little bit in Mario Kart. I mean, of course I am. This is a tough pill for me to swallow, but it happens every single year. So I'm not too concerned about it, honestly. I mean, if Nintendo can sell nostalgia, so can I. You know what I'm saying? I just, <laughs> I, I, regardless, I'm still going to be making the best content that I can possibly make and do maybe more videos like this so you guys can enjoy my thoughts and opinions on certain leaks, rumors, etc just let me know like i've said previous not a single new game that we haven't already heard of or have already played like a remake and this could be like i said because of a new piece of hardware coming in 2024 which i totally understand but if there but if there isn't <laughs> but if there isn't nintendo's dead i'm calling it right now i think another l to this direct is like zero mention of prime 4 people have been talking about prime 4 for literal years at this point it feels like a launch title for the brand new console especially if they're talking about how this new console also plays at like 4k and has like crazy graphics like the ps5 and stuff like that i feel like prime 4 would be a perfect game for that look regardless i think there's a lot to look forward to in the next coming months especially next year if there is new hardware okay the february direct could be a banger right we could get the things that you know my channel is is based off of we could get that mario party we could get that mario sports game switch sports is dead mario party superstars is dead so who knows what's coming an olympic game i have no idea doesn't matter let me know in the comments what you think about the direct are you excited rate it one to ten for me and if you enjoyed make sure the like button and don't forget your wallet on your way out just kidding nintendo has it okay bye